Hi everyone, welcome back to the Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word for tough times is God said you can't win and nothing with cheating. It ain't going to work at all. You can't try to be slick with God and think that God is just going to let you in. Even when you study in a test, you got to study. You're not going to win by cheating. The Bible says in 1 John 1 and 9, it reads, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleans us from all unrighteousness. I want you to know that God will forgive you. You have to understand that you have to come clean with him. Whatever's going on with you, you need to let that stuff go. Stop trying to be slick. Stop trying to be slick and think everything that you're doing is right. It's not. You know, you're doing things. It's not in the will of God. You need to confess. You know, you're doing things that's wrong. Apologize to God. Stop going backwards. Some of you, you go backwards so much that you don't even have time to do anything for God. You read the Bible with us, then you go back into temptation. I mean, how many times do you think God going to forgive you? You think God going to forgive you a hundred times? You need to pray and say, Lord, Help me with my life. Strengthen me in these areas. We all have problems. But come clean. Come so clear to God and be real. I'll give you an example. I used to struggle. You know, I would go back and forth to church. And I'd go see my boyfriend. And guess what I did? I stopped going to church because I wanted to see my boyfriend. But I made up in my mind, I said, I'm going back to church. I want to get saved. I want to have a relationship with God. I want to change my life. I want to be a better woman. You have to make decisions in your life so you can come clear with everything with God. You cannot try to be slick. And thank God, I'm not going to do nothing about it. There is consequences for your action. And I'm telling you, some of you that's watching me, you're going to get sick. You're going to fall out. Something's going to happen to you. Because you keep playing with God. And he is tired. He told you to confess. When you confess, you need to repent. And stop going backwards. Let me tell you this. It's good for a moment having sex and, and getting your little fill on. But once you finish your little feeling, when you get up, your conscience bothers you, ain't it? Because that's the Holy Spirit telling you to stop it. But some of you, you're just stubborn. I rebuke that stubborn spirit over you. You don't want to listen to God. So listen. Some of you going to die, I said. You're going to die. Don't wrong because you don't listen. God is tired. He is tired. He listen. He's not going to keep giving you grace, mercy, and favor and keep giving you another chance. Some of you, you listen to me. You know you're falling short. You know you're falling short. You can get up and repent. You have so much time to get yourself together. You got kids watching you. You got son, daughter. You got your big brother. You got your sisters and all these people watching you. And you leading these people straight to hell. So you have to be careful and say, Lord, forgive me. And God will help you. So talk to God and God will help you. 
because at the end of the day, you have to understand that your life is important. Your life is important. And you have to do whatever it takes to change. So do what you need to do. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Have a great, beautiful day. Stay blessed.